All right, real quick little instructional vlog on correcting the air pressure gauge issue in your diesel pusher. This is the VDC unit. Uh, it has air lines and data connections, and the connections feed the gauges in the dash. And what the problem is, these air lines have electrical connections to them to detect air pressure. These solder joints from this connector on the sensor here over to the circuitry, due to vibration of the engine, uh, they start to crack over time and your gauges just go crazy. This is an example of what they will look like. You see that tiny connection there? That will crack between those two solder pads. So what I've been doing is I've been using a small piece of wire. I strip that back a little bit and so, and tin it and put it in an L shape and hold it down there and make a connection across here. And I put a, basically I'm reinforcing this connection. So I've already, I know I've, that was the first one I did there. The wire I put in there is a little smaller, but uh, I decided to go with a little bigger as time went on. That one, this one here and these two I don't know if there's a connection under on the bottom side of the circuit board so I'm just going to do them anyway but I think just these two here and these three here are the ones that matter but uh, up next I'm going to go ahead and do these last two. I've already fixed this once but all I did was I, I touched those solder pads to make the, flow, the solder flow a little better and fill in the cracks but uh, that fix did not last long because the diesel engine uh, vibrates so much. So I'm going to pick off a few strands of this wire. This is just speaker wire. Twist it up like that. I'm going to clip off the rest to get it out of my way. And then I've got some um, some flux here. I'm going to dip that in the flux. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and tin my wire. So my little tinned wire looks like that. And we're going to go ahead and just bend it. And the whole purpose there is to give ourselves something to hold on to while we solder it. You want to keep your solder tip nice and clean. I've got a sponge off here, a wet sponge off to the side. Now we'll go ahead and get some fresh hot solder on our soldering tip there. And we're going to hold this down with that little L down there so I can, so I can hold it with my fingers. And I'll uh, just press it against the two contacts. And I'll hold my solder iron down there against the two contacts until the solder starts to flow between them. Sometimes it's a little problematic. doesn't have to be perfect it just has to work let's see if we can get a shot of that see how that wire bridges those two contacts right there and we'll clip off the excess and that that one right there is the one we just did it doesn't have to be pretty it just has to be a nice good connection that's how you do it, folks. This is, again, this is the VDC module on your diesel pusher. If these connections on the air pressure sensor to the uh, air pressure lines, if these solder connections are flaky or broken or cracked, your gauges on your dash are just going to go crazy. They're going to be slinging all over the place. Your air pressure buzzer will be sitting there going, yeah, all the time. It'll just drive you bonkers. And you won't have a clue what's wrong. 
It's this thing and these stupid little solder connections right here. That's how you fix it. And as I said before, I fixed it once already, but all I did was I just touched it to make the solder flow, but it just cracked again and it worked for a little while. Okay, one other thing. This back on the elect on this uh, box, this back on this electronics box is simply held on there with a little bit of adhesive. So a screwdriver, just get under one corner and kind of pry around it until you peel it off. It's no big deal. Easy to get off. Just be careful and don't break it. All right, I bet you thought we were done. Uh, we just fired up the uh, old diesel here and you can see our front and our rear air gauges are pumping up nicely before they were very ir very erratic they would move back and forth in a wild fashion and um, but now they're they're in sync they're moving at the same rate and they seem to be doing quite well I have noticed in the past this one goes up a little bit faster the front goes up a little faster I, I think that's just probably uh, due to the you know mechanical maybe the length of the airlines or something like that who knows but uh, man that good connection is really uh, it's pumping up nicely we're just gonna watch this until our low air alarm goes out look at that look at that and clearly we're in park the air brakes are on we're in neutral the way we should be. One of my jacks is down slightly, but that's the reason why that is. That's the reason why you see that indicator right there. All right, we're all pumped up. Got 130 PSI on our air pressure, ready to go on an RVing trip. Hey everyone, I appreciate you guys stopping by the channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified whenever I release a new video, don't forget to click that little bell down below. You guys have a good one, and remember to enjoy driving your classic motorhome.